All right, here are three simple home gym setups that I've personally used in my home office to build muscle. We're gonna start this list off with the most expensive. So with that, let's take a look at my resistance bands home gym setup. For this, I personally use loop style resistance bands as I found they provide a lot more resistance when I need it for some of the bigger lifts. So for the loop band, I personally work with the Undersun resistance loop bands, but if you need to save a little bit of money, feel free to try out the Sun Pal resistance bands as well. Now over my testing, I found I really don't like to hold the bands as they're just uncomfortable. So I decided to get a resistance bands bar. And this is a 38 inch bar that is called the Instar resistance bands bar. And with that, I used triangle links on the end to connect the loop band through, allowing me to again have more comfort in many of the major lifts. So the last piece to make this setup is the step platform. And this is literally called the step platform. And it is a four inch platform that I use to put the bands underneath. I stand on top of it and it allows some pre-stretch in the bands as well as standardizing my exercises as the bands have to go underneath, making it the same length on each side when set up properly. Now an extra piece you can buy are the J hook handles. And I've really come to like these, especially if you're someone traveling. Again, I really don't like to hold the bands when I'm working out. I did have gloves in the past, um, but I actually went with the J handles as I find a bit easier to work with, especially when traveling. So these are rather cheap, easy to pick up and use. So I highly recommend it if you need to travel with it, or if you wanna actually use them for some of your exercises instead of the bar. All right, so the second setup is gonna move up in cost. So we will actually be focusing on dumbbells here with a bench and a few other items. All right, so the first piece of equipment are the dumbbells and it is my number one piece of recommended equipment if you are looking to start out a home gym using dumbbells. These are the core fitness adjustable dumbbells. They change from five to 50 pounds just by turning a handle left or right. I've used them for over five years. Um, I will go over a different brand in the next setup but these ones have been amazing for me and are much cheaper than many of the other brands out there and are the most simple setup to use. You don't, you're not taking a ton of plates and putting them on and on all the time. All you have to do is have a cradle, put them in, turn it left and right, and you're good to go with five to 50 pounds. And to complement the dumbbells, we are gonna be using an adjustable bench. And the one I'm using is the Flybird adjustable weight bench. This is the one that can support up to 700 pounds, I believe, and has red trimming on the outside. There are a few others I've tried in the past, but there's like an all black version and whatnot, but this one is the perfect height off the ground and it supports the weight I want. The only thing I don't like about it is it can't stand on its feet when I'm not using it to put it in my closet. So I do have to lean it up against a wall, but other than that, it has been excellent for my home workouts. So the next item is one that is also great for traveling and allows me to do overhead pulling exercises. And that would be the cross grips by JFlex. These are more expensive than your standard doorway pull-up bar. However, again, they are small in size, so you can easily travel. And I found they've actually done no door damage in comparison to other ones I've used in the past. A lot of the ones that rest on the door frames on the sides of it tend to leave markings or even indentations, which I've personally experienced when using them. But however, these ones just sit on the top door frame, which can be a little scary, uh, honestly. But again, I've had no issues with the ones at my current place. But make sure if you do decide to buy these, that, they, that your door frame can support your weight. They support up to 250 pounds, but make sure the door frame itself can support that weight as well. But if you'd like to go ahead and get these, you can save as of right now, 15% uh, with code GAMERBODY over at the JFlex website. And the last piece of equipment, but highly recommended are the Lieber Fitness Equalizers. I personally have the XL edition, and these ones are great for things like dips or inverted rows. Again, this one, I have the XL just because I'm about six feet tall. So I want to make sure that my knees aren't just hitting the ground every single time. So that is why I went with this version. I do have to bend my knees, but just know it works for me at about 5'11 to six feet tall, if that is your height. And these ones are great for storage because you can actually um, stack them together. They're not like one connected piece. They're two separate pieces you can stack and then easily put into any closet. And now that brings us to our setup number three, which is by far the most expensive option here. So let's jump into the first item, which are also adjustable dumbbells. And these are the Nuo Bell adjustable dumbbells. The ones I personally have go from five to 80 pounds. So this time we're not going to 50, we're actually going all the way up to 80 
pounds, but these things cost me $775 for the matte black before Texas taxes. So these are much more expensive than the like $350 to $400 of the Core Fitness Dumbbells, but just know these are pretty premium product. I really, really do like them. So I highly recommend you check these out if you have the money to get these and you're looking for something more like 80 pounds for your home gym. So to complement those dumbbells, we have another adjustable bench and this one is pretty cool and a recent purchase of mine as of shooting this video. And this is the Iron Master Super Bench Pro. And I also got two attachments with it. I got the chin up bar or pull up bar and the dip bar attachments. So what's pretty cool is you can position the bench at a vertical and then you, on the end of it, you can insert the pull up bar attachment as well as the dip bar attachment so you can do those exercises without needing a door frame. Because again, one of my biggest issues is damaging my door frame or even getting hurt myself if it does ever break. Again, I've been lucky enough to where that's never come close to happening, but who knows, it could happen to you depending on your setup. So if you don't want to bother with that, you can spend quite a bit more money. These come, I can't came in more than $500 for all the attachments and the bench. But again, you don't have to worry about any kind of other damage that could happen as these are like steel beam um, attachments and are very, very, very sturdy. The bench can support up to a thousand pounds and it's pretty cool with just a little, nice little kickstand and a removable seat from the bench, which has in my testing been pretty awesome to use from the beginning. All right, so that is all three of the setups. Again, we have resistance bands, a cheaper dumbbell setup, and then a more expensive dumbbell setup as well. Now, depending kind of what your setup is and how much money you have will really determine with the option that you go with. And you can also pick and choose from um, certain ones if you like, pretty much for the dumbbell ones, you could pick, kind of pick and choose if you have more money or less money, or maybe you wanna get the bench because it's off the door, but you want the dumbbells because they're cheaper, whatever it might be, here's the setups I would probably go with that work very well from my personal testing. And if you'd like, all the links to these products are in the description below. Again, you can save 15% with code GAMERBODY for the JFLEX products. I also have their Hyper Bell, which you can attach to dumbbells. Do not work with the Noodle Bells, by the way. But with that, if you'd like to take a look at one of my other videos on the channel of items I have been used at my home gym, feel free to click the link on screen. But with that, remember to be fit and game on.